Okay, so here is um, problem four. This is the chain thing and chain gang problem, you might call it. And okay, so problem four. Um, so you have this force lifting this chain with an acceleration of A. And the first thing you want to find, well, they ask you for basically the forces in between each pair of links on the chain. So there, 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 there. And then they want to find, I think, the net force based on this whole thing. They give you. Um, M equals mass of each link. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, and here's here's the is the the question. Um, so find the magnitude of this force, this force, this force, this force. Find the magnitude of the force F exerted on the top link. That's part E. I'm actually going to do that first, and and you'll see why. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw. Uh, I'm just going to say, you know, screw the links for now. I'm going to draw a free body diagram of the entire damn chain. Okay. What's the mass of the chain? 5m. What's the applied force in the chain? Well, of course, that's f. Right. And the chain is accelerating upwards with an acceleration of a. So let's do a um, free body diagram for that. What's our other force on them? This is. 5mg, so the mass of this is 5m, so 5m times g is the weight. That's it. So, free body diagram, uh, let's FBC, FBD for chain. Um, I'm going to do, let's do this dark blue. I'm going to say this is, uh, actually, I'm going to say this is y going up. And we can put x like that if we feel like it, but whatever. There's no x, obviously. So, the free body diagram, um, there's our y, and there's our x. And here's our dot, applied force F, and weight 5mg. So now we do our sum of forces in the y direction. It is going to be, we have F going upwards. Well, actually, it's going to be um, M mass of the chain times A. But the mass of the chain is not M. It's actually 5M. So five mass of the whole chain times A. Okay, so sum of forces in the y direction, force going upwards, we have weight going downwards, equals 5ma. Okay, so um, we want to find the magnitude, right, so let's just take that over the other side, f equals 5m times a plus g. So that is actually the solution to part uh, e, I believe. Okay, so that's how we get um, the solution part E, no problem. Now, um, what we can do here is, um, that's, that's part E, so that's this force up there. Now I want to find the force between 1 and 2 here. So we want to find um, F12, which is the force that chain link 2 is exerting on 1, or vice versa. So let's do a free body diagram for uh, link 1. Okay, so... Uh, well, actually, yeah, fine. Okay, let's do the free. Tell you what, here's a little diagram of link one. It's got a mass of m. It's being lifted up by this f12, and or we can draw that, you know, in red like we do the rest of ours. And then its weight is mg. Okay, so this is just link one. So and then let's draw the free body diagram here. And of course, you use the same axes. So y going up, x going sideways. Why did I draw x to the left instead of the right? I don't know. Doesn't matter. Okay, so F12, which is what we're trying to find for part A, mg. Well, the um, then that that's all we had. We have the the weight and the force there. Uh, so utterly trivial. So sum of forces in the y direction is mass of a chain link times A. Uh, right. So that means F12 minus mg equals ma, which means um, f12 equals m times a plus g. And that's the answer for part, whoops, for part a. Now let's look at the two answers we've got here. We've gotten the force that lifts the entire chain, and we've got the force that acts just on, on link 1, between link 1 and link 2. Okay. This top force here, the force acting in the entire chain, is 5m times a plus g. The force acting on the bottom link is m times
times a plus g. So this force here lifting all five links is five times as much as the force lifting one link. Is that a pattern? And if so, can we use it? Well, it looks like a pattern to me. But let's just think for a second. Suppose we had, suppose we did a free body diagram. We did the whole analysis for the bottom two links. Well, it would look basically like this, except you'd have, in fact, I'm just going to draw it over here. You'd have um, two links, you know, this two link unit here. So you have 2M, and you'd have this F23, would be the force there. I'm going to draw it in darker red, but whatever. Okay, that's your force there. And then your weight there would be 2MG. And so you can see, it's not hard to see that you would actually come out with the same equation, except this would be multiplied by 2. So F23 is 2 times F, you know, it's just twice as much. So uh, for part B, F23 equals um, 2M times A plus G. And then for C, F34 equals 3M times A plus G. For part D, F45 equals 4M times A plus G. Well, gosh, uh, that's pretty easy. Part F is the last one. Um, and we are asked to find the magnitude of the net force accelerating each link. Well, um, you know, this shouldn't be, shouldn't be very hard either. But uh, just to flesh it out, the net force accelerating each link, um, the net force, uh, so let's see, net force is just uh, ma, right? So remember when we had uh, Newton's, Newton's second law, I'm going to call Newton Newton's second, okay? Um, actually, let me, uh, ooh, I don't know, let's switch to, I guess, well, we've done blue already in this one. We've done kind of green too. I don't want to do yellow because nobody can read yellow. Uh, let's do this sort of browny stuff. All right, so ugh, that's kind of gross. Okay, Newton's second law, which we know commonly is F equals ma, but really what it is is the net force on an object equals its mass times its acceleration. So net force means you take all the forces acting on the object, add them up, you know, find the net force. If there's a net force, then the object's going to accelerate. If not, no. So but F net is MA. We're trying to find the F net on each um, object, on or sorry, on each chain link. Well, each chain link is accelerating with an acceleration of A, and each chain link has a mass of M. So we just plug in M for M. Oh, look, M. We plug in A for A. Oh, look. So actually, I just wrote down the answer just by writing the second law. F net equals MA. That's for part F of that problem. Uh, so there you go. And all you have to do is plug in the numbers, and that should uh, should be right. I hope.